this one actually is, is if you just get practice at home, put a club in your hip joint, push your hips back, and then let your knee bend. Look how straight my back is when I'm in that position. So from there, you know, a little bit of the curvature in the ball comes from the rounding of the shoulders, because now your, your shoulders are rounding as you rotate, right? So just check, practicing a little bit of posture, there you go, would help. So now that, if you would have cleared better, that would have been the ball flight you like to see, yeah? Clear my, my hips? Yeah, you could, in other words, you could have rotated more left with that posture. Okay. Then what, you know, you're probably a little hesitant to rotate left right now because the ball's been going left, yeah? Okay. I like that move. I think your, your hand action, you know, is working in such a way that you're going to get a slight draw right now. Again, I don't know if you mind that. You used to fade the ball, though, yeah? I don't mind a draw with the irons. Okay. I usually fade the long club, but I don't okay. mind a draw, especially the way the target draws. So yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's good ball flight. It's just what, what you're looking for. Like you said, you know, you're, you're not hooking them from here. You're not pulling them, and you're not hooking them anymore, right? So. You want to try long club? Okay, you got it. There you go. Yeah, I like the way that knee came in that time under the hip. <clears throat> That's the first one that was a little left, yeah? Yeah. See, I had no idea what happened. I didn't rotate enough. I was actually looking at the view on the camera to make sure I had you on the right path there. Those, yeah, those look like in the end. Right now, it looks like when you get to your finish, it looks like you're kind of, your hips are a little stuck and you're kind of leaning this way. I'd like to see it, you know, really more vertical as you, as you rotate it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, left anchor players are always way more vertical in their finish. Narrow your stance up just a little bit. There you go. And that's a sign to me, you know, I think left anchor players, a lot of times they're trying to get braced more, but they don't need to be braced more. You just need to get a little narrow stand, clear, really tall around that left side, and you'll find if you're rotating well and you're holding the angle coming down, it can't go left. But when your hips get a little stuck, either, either you're stuck because they're sliding, and you're not rotating on that pivot point, or again, you're out of position and it's trying to clear, so you're not really rotating on that spot. You're, you're rotating here, this is just moving around, right? Yeah. And as soon as you do that, you get stuck at some point, and this all gets outside. Yeah. So the key is is never getting so wide that you feel like you're pulling off of that. Stay on that, that pivot point, and keep clearing and rotating as well as you can left. <clears throat> yeah. That one to me was a hair left just because your timing was early. And you're gonna get one of those every now and then, but that's, that's not going to get you in any trouble there, yeah? Okay. Trying to go right down the right line of the, the green grass. Green grass yeah. Okay, now those, those, well, yeah, and that one actually comes, let's check that. I think you might be a little too vertical with this shaft as this club got longer. I had a million of those. Look at that. Make it be that flat where you see, seem like, you know, it's on your waist. You know? That's great right there. Now what you that's great. Do about four or five of those. One, two, three. There you go. And that's more the ball flight I remember you playing. Yeah, I'd like to see you rotate a little left better so it starts a little bit more left, but that's the ball flight I remember when you were swinging really well. Check your stance width if it's too wide. That's the only thing. Good. One, two, three. There's no way you can go left from there. 
So clearly, if you have more of that in your regular swing, you're going to swing better, right? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, from this position, if you want to pump it back a little bit more and then rotate through, that's okay also. One, two, three. There you go. To me, to get that perfect, all you got to do is rotate left better. One, two, three. Okay, so that was a lazy turn forward that time. My downswing? Yeah. Forward turn was lazy and then you just kind of threw it with the hands that time. And you have to feel like your release is more of a hold release where you're trying to hold it off. Okay. You just hold and keep turning. One, two, three. There you go. I like that. I mean, you can't get in any trouble with that move. I just felt like I get my back, my right wrist bent. Just... Yeah, now that's a very good image. That, I like that. As a matter of fact, there's a couple of different uh, set actions uh, that go with this. One of them, I actually feel like I get, I get it kind of going this way, and once I have it here, I feel like it just goes up. I just hold, 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 hold. And see how far ahead of the ball my hands are when I come in. There's no way I can go left with this. This was my power fade. And the next one is I actually, with angular hinge, I give it a little bit of rotation. But once I have it rotated here, it feels more like the right palm is driving the butt of the club down the plane line, right? And so again, when I come in, there's no way that can go left. Both of those have that feel of that angle sort of tracing the plane and holding that angle down the plane as you come forward. One, two, three. Good. I like that. See that one, even if your hands get a little bit in front of your body, you, it, it'll be a pull cut, yeah. but it won't go left, right? Yeah. So I like that move for you because if your timing's a little bit off, it's, it's not going to go left. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah, I like that. Let's take some from the other angle. One, two, three. Yeah, rotation looks good now. That left leg straightening. I mean, it really looks like you're rotating around the left hip and the left leg right now. Yeah, I don't need any of this slide. None of that. I'm over yeah. there, right? If you had exactly, if you had the slide, you weren't on your anchor. That's all there is to it. If you're if you're anchored, you can't be sliding, right? Yeah. 